it is somewhat of a rare occurrence to see a match like this take place on a regular normal tour like we have here with France touring New Zealand but it's a midweek match against the Super 15 side the Auckland Blues here in a rare occasion to be savoured. Hello everyone, welcome along to Cornflakes Crib, your home of Rugby Challenge and here we are with the French tour of New Zealand in this midweek match, the first and only one of the of the tour where they will come up against the Blues and well, it's a disappointing thing to look at this Blues team here when they have brought in so much B fringe squad players and left out some of their key men it is somewhat disappointing but somewhat understandable after all the effort they went to to make this fixture a possibility and then they leave out players like Ali Williams and ones like that uh, I can't even think of half the ones they're missing now but they do have a few of their good players in there Boric, Saeli at number 8 Kerr, Willison, Moala, Halai, but really, it's a disappointing factor from the Blues. It's a great experience for them to play against France, and it should be an awesome match and a super experience for these young guys like Prattley, Barrett, Metallic, even Saeli, Gibson Park. You, you go through the whole team there. It's a great experience for them to play against an international opposition who have brought over a big squad just for this match I'd say when they want to give a lot of fringe players themselves a run or players coming in from the top 14 competition coming into the squad getting some match time under their belt so it's not a bad French team there's a lot of always a lot of good talents Mass number three coming back from a big injury so he's in it for match fitness as are a lot of these players Mermoz as well. Mendred gets his second start in a row for the French side after starting on the wing in the weekend in the test match. So it's going to be France versus the Blues. France have brought a good experienced squad here and it will be Mermoz. Oh, I take that back. It will be Mendred to kick off and he gets this special Oh, kicked out on the full. Well, I was kind of surprised what was happening there as I was saying it. It is a special midweek tour match for the French Tour of New Zealand. And France start off with a big mistake. It took me by surprise. And the Blues have gone for a scrum. So that is the first time we've seen that here on Cornflakes Crib coverage of rugby. And it is a halfway scrum for the kick out on the full from the kickoff from Mendred. And the Blues have early possession here. A great chance to break something out here as they start off nicely to Halai. Halai, he is the game breaker, this man. And he gets a nice hit to Gibson Park, who goes through a little hole. Gibson Park, great ball to Ritalik. Sweeps it over for Willison. Jackson Willison for the line. Mendred gives chase. He won't get him, and he scores. The Blues are off to a great start. Oh, I don't know what to say. That was an amazing start. Mistake from the French. And then the Blues. Look at that pass from Ritalik. That was amazing. And then oh, Midrad coming across to take out Jackson Willison. But it's not enough. Gibson Park did a brilliant job. He initially put the fend on the fullback, Midrad. And then he came across to make the tackle. Nakatasi coming across from his wing. Oh, it was an abysmal start from the French. Two massive mistakes, and the Blues lead 5 0 after just a couple of minutes. The coaching staff will be going bonkers in their box up there, and as Braden Kerr has got a chance to make it seven. Here's his kick, eight minutes gone. Kerr, oh, he's accounted way too much for the wind. And it's gone to the left and swung back behind the sticks, unfortunately for Kerr and the Blues. But it's the Auckland Blues versus the French Blues. I'm not even going to try and make a mess of their name in, Fran uh, in French. But Mendrade, well, he's kicking off again. Is he going to make that same mistake? 
I'd imagine not. That's a better kick. Willis in the try scorer drops it and it's nicely picked up from France. And they have a chance here from the missed uh, take from the kickoff. And the Blues are offside. Boy, oh boy, this match is starting with a bang. France had a massive chance there. On the 22, it was a messed up kick takeoff from the Blues this time. And France get a penalty for the Blues being offside. And Dusan will have a shot at goal. Oh, dear me, what a start this has been. Dusan with the shot. On the 22, about 10 metres in, it looks nice. It shrinks away in the wind and drifts nicely through the posts. It is 5 3 early on. I don't even think there's been a ruck yet. Well, there's been one. Yeah, that, that was the offside. So Kerr. Braden Kerr to kick off again. What a start to this match. It has been amazing. And the French don't take the kick off. Here's the man we are just talking about, Nakatasi, and he's been hammered. Oh, and a big hit. And it's a huge call from the ref. He's going to give someone a card. He's got his hand in his pocket, and he's gone. It is a yellow card for the Blues. Who is it? 13 is it oh, I didn't quite catch who it was I think it was the center didn't catch who it was that's a shame and France are going to thump it into touch and they're going to have a line out and they've got a one man advantage here for a start for 10 minutes here just short of halfway France line out here's Gerardo Goes nicely to the middle of the line out for Sampson. He takes it through a couple. Nicely taken. Just short of halfway. The Blues don't want to commit too many to the ruck here. As Dusan looks back to Mindrad. He's going to thump it. He does. Big cross field thumper into the wind. Good punt. But it's down there for Halai. Halai takes it. And probably the most dangerous man on the paddock for the Blues. Nice pass to Kerr. He's dragged down just short from Klassen's. And he's turned him over. Dusan has the ball now. And the French are on the attack. Here's Flying Quart. Good run here from the big lock. He's taken down inside the 22 in France. Are looking good here for a nice opportunity to score. Here comes LaRue. Poor pass from LaRue. Beautifully picked up from Boric. And the Blues have a chance to clear away some pressure. Brandon Kerr thumps it down the middle, hoping the wind will take it away. It doesn't to the point he wanted to and O'Connor oh O'Connor's made a bad mistake again this is not the time to be doing that especially after his buddy just been sent to the bin oh dear me that was a nasty one and here he is he is back there was a quick little was it 13 it is number 13 so the Blues are back to a full number of players here and the kick from the penalty, high tackle, into touch from Mindrad and on the 22. So France attacking hard. It's a pretty close match up here. I thought the Blues might just be a bit overwhelmed by the occasion and falter a touch. Here's a line out stolen from Metallic. Oh, and the Blues are off to a great start in this match. They look out to the left here, Kerr. Not the best pass. Willison, the try scorer, pops it up for Saeli. Short ball. Oh, this is a great short ball for the big prop. He goes storming forward the only way he knows. And to tackle. And great ball security there for the Blues. Out to the right now, O'Connor. Lucky to still be on the field. Good ball to Kerr. Brandon Kerr through the middle. Takes the ball to ground on halfway. He needs support from his forwards. He gets nothing. And the Blue... Oh, the the French have turned it over. Just oh, brilliantly run from Dusan. And there they go. Murmurs nicely away to Nakatasi, who takes it to ground. Danger runner. That man, Nakatasi, the Fijian winger. The French, though, swing it to the left. Here's Murmurs. Great run. Super play going on the outside. Can he break away there? He is going to score. It'll be a try for Murmurs. But what a run from Talis. And the Blues have conceded the first try. And Murmo as well, he is the star of this back line. He started it all. And here it is. He was Tully's. He was the key figure there as he took out two men. Manny McKenzie at the back. 
We'll have another look. Here we go. There it goes. Good ball to, to Tully's. McKenzie couldn't stop him. And he also took out the winger, I'd say. That would have been Halai. So there's two men there. Took them both out. Tully's good play from the number 10. No responsibility of kicking for him today. Let him play his natural game. And he has scored them their first try. His Dusan. Oh, and the wind's caught that one and hooked it inside. And it won't go over. It's just five points. France lead. 8-5. Half time just about on it. Here is Kerr. We'll get the match back underway. This has been an outstanding match so far here from both sides. And the French have knocked it on. Moala picks it up. Just kicks it out the back and it's picked up from France so we'll go back for the knock on Moala chancing his arm here not coming off for him no advantage for the Blues and Gibson Park has the ball good opportunity here for the Auckland side as they put in a good shove this is a super scrum from the Blues Gibson Park he'll look to the open side goes to Fokita Great ball to McKenzie. McKenzie half break there. And he's taken down just 20 metres out. And they've lost it. Great stuff from France. Turning that ball over from McKenzie. And Momos is knocked off. Oh, it's been knocked on from Mendred. Gives it to Barrett. Barrett goes agonisingly close. It's advantage to the Blues. Mendred with the knock on. Off the back it goes. Chance for the Blues. They can't get there. Just a couple of metres short. Where's the support? They've still got advantage. And the French will turn it over. And the advantage is over. Oh, boy, oh, boy. That was a bad call from the ref. And into touch it'll go and signal half time. The Blues, well, they should be disappointed by that. They should have scored. And with just 30% of the ball, we see the stats straight away. If they could have gone to half time, just even 10 8 up, it would have been a massive difference. But they're right in this match. Maybe an opportunity for a three-pointer would have been a better option. But boy, they went close there, the Blues. It's going to be an interesting second half. France dominating possession and playing a lot of the game in their own, well, the way they want to play it, really, their own terms. Offloads dead even, but the penalties may come to be the thing that hurts the Blues here three conceded so far France taking one three pointer from that and scoring a try apiece at half time here as a crowd are pumping to some sounds do, 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 do. back to half, second half Brandon Kerr and the Blues look to get the match back underway, they've got the wind behind them here now which is an important factor to remember it's Kerr, where's he going? To the right he goes, high, into the wind, look at it swirl, and taken down a Boric, oh, it's done another big swinging neck tackle, and Boric is going to see time in the bin. This is going to be the killing of the Blues. This is going to be, oh, the death of them in this match, that's for sure. Boric, what an ugly tackle from a man you'd expect to know better, and Mendred will kick this miles downfield wind against them though got to remember that and it holds up nicely and doesn't go too far at all so France just short of halfway they've got a huge chance here as Garrado has the line out nicely taken here's Dusan good short ball here and Garrado's breaking away throws it back on the inside oh, to Niaga and he will score an easy try for the number six. Oh dear me. And Nyanga will score the second try for France. He is probably the key man in the front row. It was made by LaRue in the line out. And then what a pass by Garrado. And then simple finish by a man who's no stranger to speed in the forward pack. But what a play off the line out from France. Man down two were the Blues. And even the speedster Halai had a hard job of catching up. 
and France assert some domination on this match here. Toussaint will have a chance to add an extra two points. Make it 15-5 if he nails this, which I expect he will. Pretty strong wind out there. The Blues need to take advantage of that wind here. It's Braden Kerr finds himself back at halfway. The Blues losing advantage early in the second half. They really come out of that first half with a glimmer of hope. There's no doubt about that. This Kerr kicks off. Good kick from Kerr. Super kick. Willison picks it up. Prettley back inside. Good run. Good pass. Here's Barrett. Tries to do the same. Saeli picks it up. Here's a danger man. He rumbles into the 22. Well taken from the Blues. They look to the left. Here's Kerr. He's got Moala with the Moala. He's one on one with Mendrad. He takes him down nicely, just meters from the line. And France have got in there in numbers very quickly. And straight away it goes to Mermos, who kicks it way downfield. And straight to Halai. Halai's got plenty of place. He's got plenty of support. It's Jackson Willison. 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 Can he get there? He does. He gets out of the tackle of Talese and will score. Well, he doesn't get out of the tackle, but he drags him five meters. And the Blues are right back in the match. Jackson Willison with a double. Oh, from Halai. Uh, Halai. Look at that. But, oh, this is close. Oh, Talese with a great tackle. He just, just had enough strength, Willison, to get himself over. Here we go. You see Talese, he was the only man going to do it, and he did it. Oh, what a tackle, but what a great piece of strength from Willison to assert that try. And Braden Kerr. And a fairly important kick here. It has to be said, it's about his limit, but he's got a nice breeze right behind him. Here comes his kick. This will make it 15-12, which will be very interesting. And what a kick from Kerr. Straight between the sticks. And this is going to make it an interesting last period here. As Boric will make his way back onto the field. Wow, they scored a try without him. They also conceded one without him. So we're pretty much back where we started at half time. It was 8-5, so three points in it. And now we're back. Three points in it. As the kick goes up, O'Connor claims it nicely. Parsons, the captain tonight. Nicely off, Saeli picks it up and gets a oh, big high tackle. And oh, the ref, he's being very consistent here. And I think it might be Fiku who's going to see some time in the bin again. The third player sent off in this match. Let's have a little looky. It is. It's Fiku. He is gone. Ten minutes. And boy, oh boy, the Blues have a breeze behind them here. Kerr needs to take advantage. The left boot, it needs to go into touch. And it does. The wind catching hold. And into touch it goes from Kerr. Super opportunity here for the Blues. Line out. Just by the 10 meter line. Oh, it's turned over though from France. And away they go. Here's Tully's going to the left. Good pass away. Murmurs breaking. Just caught on the left hand side. Right on halfway. Still here for France. They get away to Toussaint. Great ball and then for LaRue. He puts it back outside to Klassens who goes through a tackle. Oh, here's a danger man. Oh, it's all danger man really for France. They're everywhere. Now it's taken down by Flying Quart. He's going to wait to the hooker, Glorado, who goes through a couple of tackles. And here's Murmose again to the prop. The big prop and knocked on. Oh, it was there for Ben Arus. And he has butchered it. And now Gibson Park has a chance. Oh, it's hit the pole. But it's a chance for the Blues from that pole. Oh, but it's a loose pass in the end. Halai picks it up. I can see this will definitely go to the scrum penalty for advantage here. This is all messy stuff here from the Blues. Not kicking it away. They had advantage trying to break out from their own line in the end. Just wasted time. And the man is back from the bin. So huge opportunity wasted from Auckland. 67 gone. Auckland have a penalty. The scrum. Just 10 metres out from their own line. France back to the full complement with Fuku back on the field. 
And it's a good hit from France. Will it be enough to turn it over? It will be. France will turn it over. Dusan, where's he going to go? He goes short to Murmos. Good pass out to the left. Cuts it back on the inside to LaRue. And LaRue will score. Good try from the number seven. It was a case of power, but they were just too close to the line. And Bernard LaRue, well, oh, look at that scrum. Unlucky for the Blues. They looked like they could have secured that. And then short ball to Murmos. He's such a dangerous runner. Taken down opposite number. O'Connor on LaRue. Couldn't stop him. He just gets it down. And France take the ascendancy here. You'd think they'll take this match out. But only just the touring side getting a good workout here from a bit of a Blues B. Baby Blues. So Dusan has a chance to extend the lead out to 10 points again. The wind. Oh! Is it over? It is over off the pole. So a good kick in the end from Dusan, but France, it looks pretty comfortable for them with just eight minutes to go, but the Blues have really pushed them. And it's great that they have too, because this was a great opportunity for them. It's good to see they haven't let the occasion get the better of them. And they haven't let France run away with the match just because it's France. As they take the kick off France through Garrado. And Dusan goes for a little scamper off the back. Nicely to Tully's. Oh, this is a good ball out here for the, oh, the Fijian winger. Oh, it's Natakasi. Thumped into touch from McKenzie. And Natakasi won't be scoring on that play. A chance for the Blues. Lineout's been a worry because if they had only won their own lineout earlier, they could have been an attacking chance of a man up. Not to worry because here they are anyway. The Blues on the attack. Poor pass. Just picked. Oh, it's not picked up. It's stolen from France. And away they come. And it's at number 10 again. Talese. Talese for the line. He'll score. Oh, and it's going to blow out for the Blues. Talese has been dangerous all night. And probably deserves that try. He turned it over on the left-hand side and ironically scored on the right. But if that pass had gone to Halai, well, it's a case of what if here for the Blues. A lot of chances and, you know, if, if they could have won a line out or well, that pass could have gone to hand, things could have been different. But France today, Tully's had too much pace there for a couple of Blues forwards. Parsons in pursuit, but he was never going to catch the flying back like that as Dusan will have a chance. This should probably end the match. It will. Buzzer goes. Dusan finished the match on a high. He will. Over it goes. And what a blowout in the end. 29 to 12 France. Deal to the Blues, but boy oh boy, they were pushed. And two late tries has taken the gloss off it here for the Blues, but take nothing away from France. They put in a good performance and they played the full 80 minutes. Unlike the Blues, who did go off the boil at about 60, when France had that man in the bin. It should have been when they took advantage of the situation, but a couple of mistakes and things all turned around so quickly for France. So the final score, 29-12. France over the Blues. A scoreline that if you see it in the paper tomorrow <coughs> will not give you the full representation of how this match went. It's one you'd have to watch. Willison was superb with two tries. Kerr did his best with one from two, but she was pretty blustery out there. France, on the other hand, got four tries for Nyaga, LaRue, Talis, and Murmos. Three kicks from Dusan and one penalty goal. So a fairly dominant on the scoreline, but they've had a good hit out, these French players. The Blues did not have the ball they would have liked. 39% possession is not enough to win you a match, but they had a good fist of it. You have to give them credit for that. Handling errors fairly low from both sides, it has to be said. 
Line breaks, France just nudging that one in the end with that late flurry finish. And yellow cards, boy, 30 minutes this match was without 15, 30 players. Get that right. So 30 minutes, there was only 29 players on the field. I'll spit it out eventually. And that is it for this midweek tour match for France. They are back to the action against the All Blacks soon this weekend, I'd suspect where they will meet up for the second test and we will be there to bring you coverage as always exclusively here on Cornflakes Crib your home of rugby challenge where this is your French French tour of New Zealand and until that test match I will bid you a fond farewell and we will see you there for that special match remember if you like the vid and you want to see some more give it a like and a fave and share it with your buddies they might like it and you can talk about it Oh, that was cool. And I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Take care.